Well, let's switch focus to the education sector, which has left stakeholders jittery in recent days after Education Cabinet Secretary Ambassador Amina Mohammed's U-turn on the new curriculum rollout date. Uh, the Cabinet Secretary announced that the new curriculum date, the new curriculum will be rolled out in January, days after she announced the 2020 rollout. So what exactly changed in the span of a week when the rollout was put on hold? Raquel Mugai exposed. The curriculum was poorly planned and hastily introduced in schools. The process did not carefully consider, consider resource constraints and was not given the necessary strategic interventions at the inception stage. That was the 15th of December when Education Cabinet Secretary Amina Mohammed held a crisis meeting with education stakeholders over the delay of the rollout of the new curriculum. But just seven days later, the ministry's turn has changed. According to sources, the decision to continue with the rollout in January next year was pushed by influential persons within the government. Reports indicating that the rollout, being a pet project of the government, was to go on at all costs. The curriculum reform should be depoliticized and there should be uh, total public participation. We don't want confusion in the Ministry of Education. We want to be told what is really happening. The piloting of the new competence-based curriculum began in May this year. At the same time, UNICEF, being the biggest fund of the project, commissioned an audit of the pilot process. The E-team was led by Professor Laba Nayiru, former vice-chancellor at Moi University. The report, however, did not bear any positive news when Ambassador Amina Mohammed got to look at it. According to the report, there was no legal framework to guide the project. There was inadequate training of teachers and there lacked a budget set aside to cater for the process. These being similar concerns raised by the Kenya National Union of Teachers at the initiation stage of the project. A budget of 320 something billion on top of 468 billion. So the vote that should have gone to education next day is about uh, 900 billion. Can the economy do that? Definitely not. We would have invited a white elephant that would have been very difficult to extricate and save this country from. The government, however, insists that training of teachers will be done simultaneously with the implementation of the new curriculum, with the development of an assessment framework expected in March 2019. At the moment, it is all joy for the Kenya Publishers Association and the government, but for Education CS Amina Mohammed, the future of the education sector is uncertain. Raquel Mugai for Citizen TV.